Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Spider-Man PS4 video, and today what we're going to be talking about is the very first DLC trailer for Spider-Man PS4 being the Black Cat DLC known as The Heist. Now, before we jump into this, I wanted to ask you guys, of course, if you could leave a like rating on the video as it shows your support, and I would really appreciate it. So if you could leave a like, that would be awesome. And with that said, well... Here it is, we got a quick 30 second teaser showing off the heist DLC for Spider-Man PS4 and well, it looks great. In the teaser, we actually get our first look at Black Cat and I think she looks fantastic. I think her design is really, really good. Her suit looks awesome. And then of course we get this shot as well of Spidey chasing Black Cat, running across a train going in the opposite direction. And you can really get that sense of urgency that Spidey needs to stop Black Cat from whatever she is doing, which I'm intrigued to find out whatever the hell is going on with this character and why Spidey is in such an urgent state to stop her. So I'm very excited for this DLC. I thought the teaser trailer was really well put together. And then of course it shows us once again that we're getting two other expansions that are going to be dropping in November of 2018 and December of 2018. So I'm very excited for them. Although... A lot of people out there seem to be very upset that Insomniac is putting out a DLC trailer for the game before the base game is even out. And while I can understand the criticisms, I feel like this is stuff that we've seen before in games, so it's going to be something that I think we have to get used to, but overall, I don't really mind it. I think the DLC looks fine, and honestly, if you don't want the DLC, nobody's forcing you to buy it. The base game comes out this Friday, and I'm sure plenty of people are going to be very happy with it. There's going to be a lot to do. There's going to be a lot of content there. And then, of course, if you want, you can pay for the DLC. Nobody is forcing anybody to pay that extra money. But if you feel that you've gotten enough out of Spider-Man PS4 and it was worth your $60, then maybe you can make that decision to say, okay, I'm going to buy the DLC. And there's also the option available to you as well to where if you're not really looking forward to the Black Cat DLC, but maybe you want to get the other two, you can buy them separately. I think they're like 10 bucks a piece. The only thing that I'm hoping for out of this DLC or out of all the expansions for Spider-Man PS4 is that they are a little lengthy. I know I can't expect like 10 hours of gameplay out of these things, but I'm hoping for at least like two. Give me a couple of missions, give me some cool stuff to do that's brand new through this DLC, and I'll be happy. That's all I'm hoping for. I just don't want them to be like 15 minutes and we fight Black Cat or something, and we're done. One thing that I actually really hope for from this DLC is that maybe we get to play as Black Cat. I think that would be super cool, and they can do some really awesome stuff with her combat, but obviously that's something we're just going to have to wait and see for come October 23rd. But with that said, I now kick it to you guys. Let me know your thoughts on the DLC trailer for Spider-Man PS4's first DLC pack, The Heist. Did you like it? Are you upset as well that they released it before the base game is even out? I want to hear what you guys have to say in the comments section below. And of course, I did want to let you guys know as well that tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, my official review of Spider-Man PS4 is going to go up on this channel. You're going to see my overall thoughts on the game and everything. So keep an eye out for that. Obviously, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on those notifications so you're immediately notified when that review goes out. Once again, that's going to be at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow morning. And yes, there will not be spoilers at all in my review. So don't worry about that. I'm not going to spoil the game. I know it's coming out in just a few days here and everyone's going to be able to get their hands on it and try it. So don't worry. I will not spoil a single thing with that said i'm caboose and once again if you could leave a like rating on the video it shows your support and i would really appreciate it and you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already please follow me on instagram and twitter and like me on facebook those links are in the description drop a like if you enjoyed leave a comment if you have an opinion and subscribe if you're new see you guys later